who's just Bobby Knight. Bobby, did you ever try to tackle another player with a towel or anything on the sidelines like we just saw? No, I've thought about that from time to time, Brent. That's why I don't keep anything in my hands. You know, guy won't come out here with a towel in his hand in the second half. <laughs> now, in the first game, 67-60, of course, won by North Carolina State. Let's take a look at some of the guard play. Derek Wittenberg and Bobby, what were your thoughts about him? Well, I thought the guard play was extremely good from the North Carolina State standpoint, Brent. They handled the ball well. They have a great feel for where each other is. You've got the jump shot hit by Wittenberg from outside. They really work well together. Bobby, how about James Banks? He seemed so cold in the first half that he just kept drilling up misses. Well, what I thought really hurt Georgia through the first 30 minutes was they didn't take the ball to the bucket. They got it in the start of the second half and took it to the basket a little bit. Banks is going to get a bucket there or miss. But they took it to the bucket at the start, and then they gradually got back into the game by taking the ball to the bucket, but they didn't do it at all in the first half. Bobby, I was surprised at how strong State was in time. We'll see Thurl Bailey. I mean, they dominated down there. You know, they've talked so much, Brent, about Louisville or Houston in this tournament, and I think North Carolina State can play very well with either one of them, both inside and outside. All right, when we come back, we're going to talk about this second game and what Houston has to do to climb back into it and we will do that on CBS in just a moment. Halftime of the Louisville Houston game and Bobby how have the Cardinals managed to take a five point lead? Well Brent I really think that Louisville thus far has been more in control of their game than Houston has. I think Houston has in conversion been pretty good to the offensive end of the court but in their half court play I think Louisville has done a much better job getting the open shot than, than uh, Houston has. Let's take a look at that transition game that you're speaking about when Houston gets rolling they're tough. Well they're awfully tough and you see a, see them on the board here where Young goes in or Michaud for a three point play but I don't think the story has been the board play. Wagner's shooting has been very good. I think Louisville's patience with the ball against Houston's zone has been the big factor in the first half. How about now as we see that Louisville transition game with Hall going in for the slam dunk for Denny Crum. Bobby, what about the altitude here? Have you noticed any effect on the players? No, I don't think the altitude has any effect at all, Brent. I think that these are very, very well-conditioned teams. And they're a little bit hyper playing in this setting, and I think you could be playing at 15,000 feet and they'd still be doing what they are. Do you think Denny will continue to control it in the second half? Well, I think what Houston has to do is get more out of its half-court offense and be able to apply more pressure to Louisville on half-court if they're going to get in the ballgame. If they don't, I think Louisville can open this spread up a little bit, and then it could be a lot of trouble. You really are starting to mellow with age. We'll continue here on CBS in just a moment. first half we had 10 ties the biggest lead was five points by Louisville as you check the statistics in this first half the shooting not that much different I guess the biggest disparity is in the rebounding department now Brent pointed that out 26 to 15 is quite shocking but I thought Bobby Knight made one good point one I didn't agree with him on and that that is the fact that Louisville has kept Houston out of their half court offense and when you get out of your half court offense you have a tendency not to rebound well because you're spread out all over the floor so from that standpoint I I think Houston really has to shore up and get into a half-court game. Gary, both of us disagree with Bobby in the fact that I believe the altitude really affected him, and so do you. I'm sure. I really do. Now, the last time that Houston trailed at halftime was 11 games ago. That was against TCU. They eventually pulled that one out. But still, other than that half-court thing, is there any real trend being set? Well, I would have to say that here you've got the guard scoring, and you can see in regard to Louisville, and primarily because of Milt Wagner. Now, if I were watching all these players today as to how they're reacting to the altitude, not even looking at the stats, I'd say the guy that seems precious on the court is Milt Wagner. Now you look down at the stats, and Milt Wagner is 8 for 14, 16 points. He just doesn't seem to be affected. He's breathing normally. He looks normal. All the other fellas really gasping for breath. Only guy in foul trouble is Billy Thompson with three. Akeem had a big first half, nine points and seven rebounds and four block shots. Here he is with the ball. 
And he tried to put it down again, and he's fouled. That was reaching in from the opposite side, Lancaster Gordon. That's Louis his first. Louisville showed a 2-3 zone to start the second half. I don't think that they'll stay in that. I think Denny Crum just wanted to throw him off stride. Let's see. This Houston team way below their seasonal field goal percentages. Reed Geddes will come in and guess why. They're going to hit bounds on the baseline. That's right. Actually, he's in there in 10 seconds. And it comes to Misha. It makes it look easy. Misha brings it outside. This team led the Southwest Conference in field goal percentage this year. Misha probably tied up. They're going to go to Louisville this time on the alternating no ball. Well, you can see the great strength that time by Misha, but still it was a held ball situation. So the arrow will point the other way the next time as we're just underway in the second half of play. A five-point lead for the Cardinals. That's not a bad statistic, is it? Well, they haven't lost very much anyway, so uh, they're usually ahead in any kind of ball game they play in. They've lost three. 32 and three coming in here. Here's the man-to-man -man now played by Houston. Lancaster Gordon. Caught he's got the trap on team. him. Gets Good. it off to Rodney. Great catch. That ball was thrown down by his ankles. He's still got it. That was Franklin who reached in and batted it away. Ten turnovers now against Louisville. Franklin almost blocked with it. Franklin's played with more confidence here than we saw him in the Midwest Regional. Five to glide. Rexler, ten points in the first half. Rebound. Tipped off to Akeem. Made a tough shot out of it. Drexler hustles the boards with a cap. He's fouled. You will very seldom see Louisville get in a situation where the other team gets four tries. Here goes the shot up. That's one. Ball gets loose. Young does a great job getting it to Akeem. He takes a tough shot. Here comes another opportunity, and there's the fourth one going up by Drexler. Jones committed to foul his second. Drexler makes it a three-point play, and right now we have a two-point game. Houston picking up their defense much higher now. Drexler on Rodney McRae. There's a reach in on Misha, trying to intercept that pass to Jennifer Scooter McRae. That's three on Misha, so he's the second player in this game to pick up his third personal. Well, that's that Louisville high-low post. They run it so well, get the excellent bounce pass. Gardner, he was 8 of 14 in the first half. Franklin, three on two. The Misha, nice catch by Misha, and he converts it. How about his strength? That was not only a tough catch, but he had to pull it away. And all of a sudden, the five-point game is all even. Here's that high post. Charles Jones at a high post. 11th tie of the game. Jones against Akeem. Mishaw's fouled from behind by Scooter McRae. Denny Crum is soon going to have to call a timeout. The pace has changed. Momentum has swung. They're challenging Elijah on inside. Well, he gets a piece of this ball. Jones goes up. He got a little piece of it. Jones had to alter the shot. And there again, Houston just surrounding the ball on the board. They dominating like, the boards in the second half. They'd like to get Elijah on in foul trouble. He has two. And it goes to Akeem. Here's Misha. Out to Michael Young. He's holding open. Momentum is swung. Denny Crump's got to get a time here. 41 points is what they had at halftime, and that's where they are right now. Trailing by two. That's off. Out Lancaster Gordon. 11 turnovers against Louisville. Louisville's kind of lost the most. And Houston getting back in a half-court game. They're able to set down, get Elijah on low. Louisville still hasn't scored at the 17-41 mark of the second half. And Louisville going back to the man-to-man. -man. The zone just didn't work out. Franklin penetrating. That will count or not? They're calling the foul, I believe, before the shot. Let's see. Well, it, Milt Wagner guilty of the foul. And we're going to have a timeout call. the foul. A timeout. Houston has come out of the dressing room here in the second half and have taken a two-point lead.